time with you. I pray that you, you've all had an amazing week and you've enjoyed your week. And now you look, we are also looking forward to having you in the room. Come to Worship of Esnalia. Let's fill the room and let's benefit from, from the wisdom that is given to us whenever we tune in or whenever we listen to the people that have gone ahead of us in business. Welcome once again, share that link, share it with your friend, your, your workmate, uh, your neighbor, your family members. You never know whose life or whose business you are changing or transforming by sharing the link. And today we're going to talk about savings and investments. It's an amazing thing that nobody has, I mean, okay, it's not amazing that nobody has told us, but it's amazing to know that when we save for the future, we'll have more money to work with than having to struggle in future. I don't know if that makes sense to you. So if you save money now, when you get to your latter, your, your older, or when, when you're older, uh, say in your 60s and your 70s, you do not have to work to make money. The money that you've saved now will help you make more money for you to live a comfortable life. So this morning we're going to host uh, an, an incredible organization within Worship Harvest called HMC. And they're going to tell us more about savings. They're going to tell us more about investments. Right now, as you're working in your younger, in your younger uh, life, say so between, Apostle told us yesterday, between 20 and about 40 to, your, to, to about 60, that is where you need to make sure that your money is working. I mean, you're saving money that is going to work for you. Now, the disadvantages of not having savings or investments when you when you when you've grown up and you're in your 60s and 70s and you don't have any anything that is working for you to save the money that you have uh, saved you will end up being stressed you will end up having anxiety of where is my next meal coming from where is my next income coming from yet if you did the savings right now 20 years from now the money that you have put away will start working for you. It will start bringing in a lot more money than you can ever imagine. I mean, look at Egypt. The story of Joseph. Joseph saved for the period that was coming, the period that God had told uh, Pharaoh about the famine, the, the, the famine that was coming. Joseph himself did savings. He bought the food. He bought about 20% of what everyone was uh, planting, what everyone was uh, what, what, everybody, what everyone was planting in their, in their gardens in their, in their businesses he got 20% and saved it. Now when the famine came Joseph was ready how about if we also get some of that wisdom and just save 20% of our income, just 20%, if you saved it right now, trust me that your latter years will be the best. You will not have to stress about, about having money to, to be able to survive for the remaining years up to your 120th uh, year here on uh, life or year here on earth. So share the link, invite someone, invite a friend, uh, don't benefit from this knowledge alone. Make sure that others are benefiting. Make sure that people get to know that it's not about eating up or using up all the money that you have. No, 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 it's not. Let us plan together. Let us hold each other's hands and let's build each other together. So I'm looking forward to seeing you both online and in garage here at Worship of Esnalia and across all the other locations so right now we are going to go live here at worship of Esnalia. so see you in a bit
Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Ah, do I have people in the house and online? I say good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Business Garage. Please get up on your feet. This is the day that God has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You're welcome to Business Garage once again. It's going to be a good day. Come on. Hey.
hands together. Come on. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Woo! Hallelujah! Woo! Hey, hey, you satisfy my mouth with good things. Jesus, I am complete in you. Righteousness and peace and joy in my cup in overflow. friends online you're welcome we see you we love you thank you for being here bright and early this morning why don't you reach out to your neighbor and say hello on my behalf oh yes yes you are all very welcome say hi to your neighbor find out their name this is a place of connection we'll be connecting after at the Breen cafe for those who are in the house um, for those of you who are making your way please hurry up would like to catch up with you after business garage for a cup of coffee so I would like to see if there's anyone here for the very first time please put your hand up before we sit down would like to take note of you uh, yes I know there are some people in the house if you're, it's your first time you're welcome and right about now I would like to invite you to take your seats 
uh, those in, in, this, in the house. Now, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, I would like to let you know why we're here, who we are, okay? And let's say together with those of you in the house and those our friends online, we are a movement of the gospel, discipleship, and mission. And we are catalyzing spiritual, social, and economic renewal in our immediate communities. And as a result, the world. And we believe that church begins on Monday. And Sunday is garage time. Beep, beep. Yes, yeah, so welcome, welcome to garage. And we're here to have our spark plugs changed and oil changed and tuned up and raving and ready to go tomorrow. And would like also to give you an opportunity to worship God with your giving. When we come in the house of the Lord, we don't come empty-handed. So for you who are in the house, the, wash, uh, the, the guest experience team will be coming to you. Uh, please put your tithe and your offering in the basket. Our friends online, our giving options are through mobile money. The number is 0778-618-418. And if you're on Airtel, it's 0758-618-418. On Airtel Momo Pay, the code is 148722. And on Airtel Pay, it's 116032. You can also give through our um, website, which is worshipharvest.org forward slash give. And as you worship God with your giving, please put your hands together for the worship team. Thank you. Psalm 145 says that the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. One generation to another shall raise his praise. When all is sin and shame, there's greater gift and grace. The love of God is broader, working for our good. When all is sin and shame, there's greater gift and grace. The love of God is broader, working for our good. We find pleasure in knowing Him. His presence and very self, the whole universe testifies of His work in our lives. Great is the Lord God, we sing His name we know. His mighty, His awesome. Great is the Lord God, we sing His name we know. His mighty.
meet again to an amazing month where we're going to share very interesting stuff about business. Business group coaching is back. This business started in 2019 on the cusp of COVID. Right now, the, the entire organization has over 30 people. If that is not growth, you see what I meant when I told you we were bringing somebody with results to show? The, the reason why I need to have this is people who follow me are mostly sinners. So, <laughs> so they need to hear the word of the Lord. <laughs> so he knew how to calculate cost of goods, he knew how to purchase, he knew how to price, he knew how to repair, he knew even how to collect debts. You strongly believe Jesus was a business man. Yes. Anyone who sets up a business to work in it, you created a job for yourself. That business will fail. When the leader sees small, yeah. the business is definitely going to stay small. small. And so is everyone in it trapped in the smallness. Exactly. You who think the business people are not in kingdom business. Ooh. Garage. Yay! My name is Mona Muguma Sebuliba, and I'm hosting, uh, along with Director Grace Munura, we're hosting Mrs. Vasta Kamara, our CEO for Harvest Multipurpose Cooperatives. Now, if you haven't sent the link to your friends, family, uh, MC members, disciples, please go ahead and do that at the various locations. You're very, very welcome because today is going to be very exciting. As we hear about Harvest Multipurpose Cooperatives, they have big news for us today and generally what Thanksgiving looks like in a business context. So, without much further ado, guys, you know the drill. Your greetings. Wow, I'll definitely go first. I have a list. I don't know about director. <laughs> this is the first time I'm doing this, so I've been thinking about... Gosh, how do you cut that list down? But I would like to say good morning to all of you. Good morning to everyone in the room and those watching online. I would like to Kutumira, first and foremost, our apostle and father of the house, who gives us so many opportunities, including the one that we have right now. And then, of course, I would love to Kutumira, all the members of HMC. I celebrate you. We are proud of you and the things that you're doing. I could to meet all the people that work with HMC, the staff, the executive, and all the other people, ambassadors, the members of the call center. I would like to to meet my dear husband, who is in the room. <laughs> and my biggest fan, I definitely celebrate you, my family, Gosh, I could go on and on and on. My parents, there are so many people, especially when it's the first time you're doing this. You don't know who not to go to me and who will hold it against you. But yeah, thank you. Fantastic. Director. Thank you so much, um, Shepard Mona. I could to mirror all the stuff of uh, in pharmaceuticals. And uh, yes, thank you for choosing to work with us. You're quite awesome. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Now, Vasta. Let's not assume everybody knows about HMC. Let's take it from the beginning. What is HMC? And then you'll lead us into our big news for why we are grateful this morning. All right. Thank you very much, Coach Mona, like I always call you. HMC is Harvest Multipurpose Cooperative. Uh, for starters, it's a cooperative. How did it come about? Uh, Harvest Multipurpose Cooperative started as an investment club. And it was birthed from the idea that our apostle had after he received a word from the Lord that he was going to break the backbone of poverty. So his desire was that every member of Worship Harvest should actually not wallow in poverty, but also get generational wealth that can be passed on onto other generations. And so at that time, which was 2016, he started Harvest Investment Club. So Harvest Investment Club was run from 2016 until last year. Thanks to all the people, greetings to Director, sorry, Dr. Nachi, who ran with the Investment Club until last year when it uh, grew into Harvest Multipurpose Cooperative. 
So as a cooperative, you're able to do a lot more compared to what you can do as an investment club. So yes, Harvest Multipurpose Cooperative is a space for Worship Harvest members to save together, to grow together, to invest together, and do big things together. Remember, as Worship Harvest Ministries, we are, caused to, we are called to cause economic transformation in our immediate communities and as a result, the world. So one of those vehicles that we have is Harvest Multipurpose Cooperative. So HMC is that space for you. You bring your money, whatever amount it is, we save it together and we grow together. So that is what we are doing. And here is the big news. So when we started last year, which was February 2021, Harvest Small Purpose Cooperative started with only 200 members and an asset base of 500 million. It's less than two years down the road. Guys, basically we are making two years next year in February. But we now have 1,700 members. Wow, yeah? wow, wow, wow. Our net assets are over 5.2 billion shillings. Wow. You guys, it's, you're not saying 100% growth. Do you understand? It is way more than that. But the greatest news, when we were starting out, um, Apostle was saying, if I could only get us to save at least 200 million a month, that would be a good thing. Last year it was a stretch, hard to achieve. Beginning of this year it was a bit of a challenge. Then we started peeping at 300 million. And then we said, no, let's make the target 520. Out of faith, you've been struggling to make 350 million. We actually had not hit 350 million. But last month, October, guys, HMC saved in just one month 520 million. Yay. Hey, what are you talking about? Right? When you have the anointing. <laughs> I was Big supposed to do that on the... camera. <laughs> Big, hairy, audacious goals. Big, hairy, audacious goals. And of course, we have the anointing. I think for me, that is always the wow factor. We have um, the word of God that backs us up. If you attended um, School of Practical Business, uh, one of the things that um, Apostle taught about on Thursday was he gave us uh, traits, Abraham being a businessman, there are traits that he picked from him as a businessman that made him successful. And one of those was the call and the blessing. Uh, Abraham had the word, and then he had the blessing, and that made him successful. HMC has the call to cause economic transformation. We have the blessing of the word. One of the things we are always declaring is a little one shall become a thousand, a small one, a strong nation. We are becoming a thousand. We are becoming we a strong thank God. nation. We thank God for these strides. So what does Thanksgiving in this context look like? Thanksgiving, I would say, has many perspectives. It's really stopping, first of all, to reflect and realize that this is not obvious. This is not something that we could have achieved in our power and in our strength. So to stop and say, thank you, God. Thank you, because we could have done all the hard work, but without you, it would not have been possible. It's stopping to say, there are people that have caused this to happen. And so can we stop and celebrate the good things? We have the big audacious goals, and sometimes you can be carried away by targets, numbers. Have we hit it? Are we there? But to stop and say, wow, this Father Lord has brought us, then we can move forward. So, yeah, in, in so many uh, ways, thanking God, thanking stakeholders, thanking employees, um, and many other people, the members of HMC, yes. Great, we thank God. Director, I don't know if you know you've been described as the man who knows many things about many things. Yeah. So what does I Thanksgiving, now you know, what does Thanksgiving in a business context look like? business regular people okay um in the business context first of all it is to recognize that when you run a business you run it as a steward the business is not you and the business is not yours i'll repeat that when you run a business you must realize that the business is not you and the business is not yours 
you are a steward of the resources that have been given to you. So, number one, you must recognize that God has given you the business, the resources, and the people that you work with are his people, created in his image, and he loves them. So it matters then how you treat them and how you work with them. So beyond that, there are other stakeholders you have. For instance, you have funders, you have uh, customers, so you have employees, and Recently, we saw like, um, you know, you can recognize your funders by, 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 by you know, mentioning them, that uh, we want to recognize our funders, ABI. <laughs> you've seen, you've seen uh, the vehicles that were, were donated during the COVID-19 uh, task force. You said this vehicle has been uh, um, given by HMC. Uh, <laughs> To you know, to alleviate COVID-19, you know, uh, effects. Um, I have also seen um, some institutions uh, on their logos add the funders, for instance, uh, Standard Bank uh, South Africa, or you know, this project is funded by um, USAID. The thing is, when you appreciate the, st the various stakeholders they will give you more. But you also are recognizing that you could not have done this on your own. And therefore, very many people have come together to actually make this happen. Yeah, that would be it. I like that. I like, I like, I like what you're saying. And I just want to lean in a, a little or take us a step backwards yeah. and ask you at the different layers. Yeah. For a business, what does giving thanks to God look like? And then, and then you know, Vasta, you can lean into that as well. What does giving thanks uh, uh, to God in a business truly look like? Is it tithe? Is it, yeah, yeah. We assume that tithe is, is entry level, that you already are tithing. Right. So going forward, we're just going to assume that that one is banked. It's a given. Yeah, it's banked. Okay. So assuming that the tithe is already banked, Giving to God can mean giving to, you know, his causes, giving to the church, over arise and above, and build. Uh, arise and build. Um, By the land. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. But there are certain causes uh, the church is pioneering. Maybe they're reaching out, maybe there's a frontier. Then you can be part of that. That's also uh, giving. And as a business, you can formulate it in such a way that there is a percentage that actually goes to, 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 to such causes. You could give to employees as uh, employee share, share options. You can give them shares. You can give them phantom shares that can actually vest over time so that the more they work with you, the more they actually get appreciated and the more they have something to take home one day when they leave or when they die, okay. whichever one comes sooner. Okay. Yes. Uh, I, I think I can lean in a little more in term, probably to relate it to HMC. So what we have done as HMC, first of all, we, because we are an organization that has strong association to our church, we have the opportunity to create impact for God through this vehicle of HMC. So what has happened is, um, for starters, yes, we do give tithe as a bare minimum. And then we also plan a percentage towards donations, like Director was saying. And then what happens is that there events that happen that are being run and these events are actually going towards um, developing people making them better leaders making them better ministers instead of the church or the you know the mission of god struggling and suffering we are happy to give towards a cause because then you're accelerating the mission you're accelerating the, the, the spreading of the gospel. And so you can give towards buy the land. It's, it's both a seed to us as HMC, because, I mean, we are buying land and selling it, but it's also accelerating the mission. So you are giving towards the specific cause. So that's donations. But also, as an organization, one of the things that we have started doing is just creating an altar within the organization and saying, um, every once a week, let's meet 
and pray. And uh, one of those times you'll just give thanks. Just stop and say, what are we thankful for? Because at the altar, you're not just going to ask, 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 ask. It's just stopping and saying, God, we acknowledge that it's you that has done this. It's you that has brought us this far. So we are giving thanks. So we built altars, built an altar to say, we'll come together, pray together, and, you know, just worship God together. And that's our space of thanksgiving. We've done the donations and, um, you know, just given towards events and particular causes. And I, I don't know if I should lean into stakeholders because I, I know Please he, do. he talked do. about it exactly. a bit. The, the different layers. Yes, the different Please layers. Do. So beyond uh, just giving towards God, you then go to stakeholders. There are people that have impacted and uh, helped HMC get where it is. When you talk about Apostle Mose, I mean, everyone at some point is like HMC, Apostle Mose. You, you, he is such a big mind, big dreamer, and he gives you the vision and you run with it. But there are certain things that you realize that you cannot do on your own. So you start to honor him every so often when you have the opportunity to. Um, many people know Chairman Julius. Like HMC, Chairman Julius, <laughs> kind of thing. Um, and what we have done for people like Chairman Julius, um, Uncle Dan Stanch, so I call him Uncle because he's really become part of us, is when you go to meet them, carry an honor gift. It's not, you know, he's happy to help. He will not say, no, don't come. But, you know, honor him with giving, you know, a tangible gift. Okay, we've not done it for Chairman Julius because he's internal. But we, 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 he knows, we've articulated it that we appreciate his leadership. We are thankful. And when people know that you are thankful and grateful, they are happy to give more. They are happy to pour out more. Yeah. So you enumerate the, the contribution. You mention it. You know, you say them one by one. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Can, can, um, when, you, when you offer thanksgiving, you're actually appreciating something. Yes. Now, when you appreciate something, the value of that thing actually goes yes. up. Sure. Okay? And when it goes up, you know, you're assigning value. And the other thing that comes to my mind is you can only, that's the only way you can actually show your appreciation that this thing, I value it. And it's the only way then you, you counter consumerism. What happens to us as human beings is when we earn more, we eat more, we build more, 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 more. But when you don't do that, you lose meaning. So meaning is derived from actually appreciating what you have been given. And how do you appreciate by assigning value to that? Secondly, you can only learn from what you appreciate. What you don't appreciate, then you cannot learn from. And the more you appreciate, the more you learn, actually. Yeah, I just thought I should add that. Fantastic. You know yeah. what? It actually ties into scripture, Isaiah 12, 4 to 5, yeah. which says that on that day, you will say, give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name, make known his deeds among the peoples. Make them remember that his name is exalted. Praise the Lord in song, for he has done glorious things. Let this be known throughout the earth. So I like what you mean, you actually count them one by one. Yes. And it is often said, unexpressed gratitude is ingratitude. Yes. Nice. Then you're talking about the various levels of stakeholders. So we've come now from, from the people that helped set up HMC, now you're into employees, and then customers. What does that look like for HMC, for us at HMC? All right, so we have, um, of course, our members who are also uh, worship harvest members. So probably just to give it a bit of gist, we have a common bond, which is uh, for you to be a member of HMC or Harvest Mouth Purpose Cooperative, you must be a member of Worship Harvest Ministries. So to the members, what we often do is, um, um, for example, the frequent savers, you give them a, a call and say, thank you, we really appreciate that you made uh, this deposit, this saving. Uh, of course, we have those moments when you have to encourage the ones who are not 
you know, saving and, you know, just tell them, we believe in you, uh, go ahead, keep, you know, keep going. Do you make uh, savings plans for them in case they can't keep up? Yes, we actually do have saving plans. So um, I think it was early this year. Uh, we did make care calls to our members and we're trying to figure out there are people that are not saving and because, of course, the expectation is that everyone that is signed up should make a minimum saving every month. So you start to notice that there are certain people that are falling back. So we did make care calls to try and understand what's happening, what you're saving. And the thing that came out in those calls is um, uh, we are having financial struggles. Now is not a good time. I need to channel my money to rent. I need to channel my money to this. So um, what we started to do is say, okay, let's help them come up with a plan. So we, we started thinking about the weekly savings. So you tell people, you don't have to wait to get their 100,000 to save. Bring whatever it is every week. So you'd have people actually save per week. And there's one particular person that always amazes me. She's so disciplined, she's a student, just left Chambogo. She also happens to be um, uh, on our HMC call center. She is so disciplined, she saves 20,000 every week. And in the last week, she stretches herself. So she always meets her minimum target of 100,000. And think about it. Almost all of us can save 20,000 a week. Or you'll spend it buying, I don't know, go to the supermarket, pick a few things, donuts, bread and milk. And I'm not saying don't eat those things, but you know, Priorities. it can't even buy you a pair of shoes. Do you understand? So she saves that small amount every week. And at the end of the month, she's actually paid up. So we started creating that flexibility to say, guys, we believe in this thing. We are growing together. We don't want to leave anyone behind. So people are starting to appreciate that extra thing that we are doing for them. Uh, just organizing calls for them where they would not have afforded um, an engagement with a coach like Apostle Mose or an external coach. We are planning to have um, Mr. Chisule just speak to the members. It's giving back. How do we give back to the members to appreciate them for their commitment to HMC? Um, I don't want to preempt, but we are planning something big for some of the people that have been consistent in their savings at the end of the year, priority savers especially, or even people that have served with HMC and, you know, have given their time. So it's just things like that, that people may not feel it's not being recognized because we'll definitely give you the return on investment without a doubt you know that's a that's given a yes that's a minimum obligation but the extra that we are happy to do to say we care about you it's not just about you bringing the money in you know um something you, you were saying something popped in my head there is proactive gratitude mm, yeah. that you can give before even the thing happens which happens to be twice as effective as reactive uh, gratitude. When Jesus was going to multiply that bread and that, that fish, okay, he said, Father, I thank you. But that was proactive before even the bread did what? Multiply it. And so that principle of proactive gratitude actually gives us twice as much a return than reactive. Reactive is more expected. Uh, like if I did you, if I brought you a loaf of bread, the, 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 the civil thing to do is to thank me. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. yeah. But when you thank me before I give you, I mean to bring with a donut or yeah. two loaves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, just just to pick on to that, one of the things that we realized um, was helping us with our drive. Um, now that he puts it into context, mm. he's, he is. It's just appreciating members on the groups. Guys, thank you for saving. Guys, we see what you're doing. Mm. And then you realize people are actually saving more. It's because you're appreciating them. So even someone who has made the 20,000 and you celebrate them, mm. they're like, oh my God, let me bring another. Let me, you know, bring a 150,000. So I, I, I like the proactive perspective. Yeah. I actually think it's quotable. Yeah. Um, our viewers online, we're receiving questions and comments on YouTube. Please send them through so that we can have Vasta and Director Grace uh, uh, speak to them. Then there was another segment, your employees. What does gratitude to them look like? All right. So we have, um, 
We have the full-time employees, uh, just to mention, uh, just within this time of um, HMC's existence, mm -hmm. uh, we came from just having one person support the organization on management to now having four full-time uh, employees, and we expect that that is going to grow even bigger. And then we have 31 part-time and volunteer staff. I would like to send greetings at this point to our entire ambassadorial team, um, Ambassador, our Chief Ambassador Juliana, wherever you are, we celebrate you, our call center team, and uh, our executive teams, uh, supervisory teams that support us. Um, but just into the question that you asked, how do we celebrate these people? Mm -hmm. um, the thing that has really worked for us is just saying, you know what, let's take time away, go have a breakfast to celebrate. So you're out of the environment where you just say thank you, thank you, thank you, to say, let's go have a meal together and specifically say, we recognize what you're doing, we see what um, your effort has helped us achieve, and this is how far we have come because of the input that you're giving. So you do a random breakfast, uh, call them over for pizza. Um, of course, there are bonuses that uh, were given last year to our executive team, approved by the AGM, so it's not a surprise. The AGM was actually, at some point, someone said, no, that's very little money. For what they have done, we should give them more money. Uh, but but it's, it's a thing of, these people are volunteering, these people are being paid, and it's probably not, if you looked at a typical person out there in the market, we are not yet there, but we are saying, we do recognize this, and we celebrate that you're walking this journey with us, and this is our recognition for it, yeah. Director, could you lean a bit into what bonuses and incentives look like in a business, and how you plan, prepare for them, so that it's random, you see, when someone begins work with you, they have a lot of hopes and dreams. Um, by the way, they hope to be you. you get <laughs> so they, that is how big they are thinking. So when we do not appreciate them, we actually crush that dream, right? But um, I know that some companies give employees share, shares and the employees are able to see the company improve, and to the extent that the company improves, then the employees' stake in the company also does improve. Some bonuses are given um, frequently, let's say monthly, others are given quarterly, others are given annually, but the principle is the earlier the better, the, yes. The, the more frequent, the better. The more frequent, the more you're able to link the bonus to the action that the employee actually made. If you, uh, if you reward employees annually, then they are unable to link it with the action that they did maybe in March. And therefore, there will be no change in behavior. Uh, it will be almost a waste of money. And um, in next month, many companies are going to waste a lot of money recognizing people for what they don't know that they did. Uh, they are shocked also that they are actually being recognized. <laughs> but they'll take it anyway. But they'll, of course, yeah. they'll take it. Uh, what to do? Okay. <laughs> what to do? Yes. But the more frequent, I know that people, there are even people who do it daily than as a percentage of the sales. If you hit a certain target within the day, then you're paid that day. But I think the more practical thing would be monthly. And you're able to say, uh, Mona, Mona is one of our own, has hit her target, and Mona, he has, a, he has a check. Even something as small as buying a cake and cutting it and dancing about it, just find reason to celebrate. The other thing I can think about is uh, birthdays. Okay. You'll be shocked that there are people whose birthdays have never celebrated, and you work with them. They have never known. And so you can help them recognize and celebrate. Now, uh, Mona, you are... You are okay. To uh, okay, you're 23. Yeah. <laughs> 20, 30. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So, Mona, we celebrate your birthday today and we cut cake and dance for you. And, you know, it's something that, um, you, as an employee, you'd really feel good. And it's something that I'm proud that we actually do in Vine. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm glad. Vasta. 
HMC is not just for individuals, is it? No. It's open to businesses as well. HMC is not just for individuals. We have businesses signing up. And um, when you sign up as a business to HMC, there are benefits that, comes, that, that comes with it as, as a member of HMC. Um, first of all, let me ask all the ambassadors and anyone in the room who has the link, please share the link so that while I speak, they know that there's a link through which you can get uh, signed oh, up or HMC have your business. Link, the, HMC the HMC link. link. Okay. Yes. Okay. So yes, we have individuals that sign up, but we also have businesses that sign up. So when you sign up your business, first of all, you get an opportunity to save as a business and maintain the discipline. Yeah? Maintain the saving discipline. Um, but also, after you have saved uh, the money, you can use this money to buy or take part in some of the products that HMC is offering. So one of the businesses that we have has taken on buying land for its employees. So you have a saving that probably your underlying individuals would ideally not afford, yeah. but you can afford. So you make the down payment for them, and then you encourage the members to pay up your employees to pay up the rest of the balance. Do you understand? Yes. So the individual as an employee would not have benefited because they would not have had the three million down payment. Um, but also, we are in partnership and I'm privy to very good information. One of the things that we really wanted uh, to do as HMC is invoice financing. But as you can imagine, um, we are still lean on ground, we are putting systems in place, there's a lot happening. But then along the way we also realize that there are people that are doing this really well and they are able to tap into even bigger markets and so give us an even better return. So as HMC we always evaluate what the options are. So Chairman and um, a few other people are working on, a, on, on, on there's, there's, there's a big thing coming up next year in January, we are starting Harvest Finance Bank, and this is the benefit of Harvest Finance Bank. Yeah, 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 you should clap, you should clap to it, with great partners, is that there are certain things that HMC can do, but we get limited. However, with an entity like Harvest Finance Bank coming in, we get to invest as HMC into Harvest Finance Bank. So what that means for the underlying individual is that there is an increased return. For a business with HMC, you get to tap into some of the things that the bank is able to provide that HMC would probably not be able to provide. As HMC, we are regulated, we have limitations, restrictions, but we are creating opportunity for businesses that are under HMC to be able to go and get certain amounts maybe that they would not get under HMC, or to get products that we do not have the expertise currently as HMC, because that would mean create a department that is able to run and supervise some of the products that the business would need. Mm. So yes, we are signing up those businesses. Don't be a late entrant and say, ah, let me first wait. No, come on board, because you're building your credibility. You're building your portfolio as a, as, as a business with HMC. And as a result, by the time you're asking for support, um, financing, or whatever it is, we have a history of how your business has performed. But there are many other benefits. Um, engagements, spaces of interaction and you learning from other people on mm -hmm. platforms. What are other people doing? Uh, what can we do to support them and all that? Sorry, I, I, I keep thinking, I don't know how much time I have. The other thing Take I'm thinking time. about, the other thing uh, we have done is in HMC we have people that have businesses that HMC as an entity would love to have on board because of the services they are offering. So you know that HMC is buying land. The latest news is that we got land in Megade, there were 73 plots up for sale. If you didn't get a plot, I don't know what you're thinking about. Only 13 plots are left. But that process of getting that land is not just acquiring land. You need to get a surveyor, mm -hmm. you need to get someone who is going to do the grading of the land. If people visited the Migade land, you found people doing the grading. Where are we going to source the people doing these things? Why should we take the money out into the market, yet there are businesses with HMC that do surveying, 
So we're actually getting expertise from within because we know the portfolio, we know the performance. So we have a team that does the surveying. You have people that are lawyers, an entity that is a, a law firm. They, we do the due diligence. Of course, we don't just give it to you because you're with HMC. You prove that you can deliver you know, competitively. Uh, we have um, uh, an organization, MATO, that deals in land, and um, they were able to identify pieces of land for us to consider. So one, you provide platforms for them, but also you look out what's the need, how do we position them to benefit uh, through those different avenues that we are working with. People, if you're not in HMC, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing with yeah. your life. If yeah. your business, yeah. if you as an individual, if you have not opened up accounts for your children, you generally don't wish you and your loved ones well. Yeah. Is all I can yeah. say. Please yeah. sign up for HMC today. Director. Just thinking, when uh, Vasta was talking, HMC, I don't know whether you're doing this, but you could do this. Uh, I don't know. Proactively, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you could have two companies within HMC and then help the two companies actually trade because you know the company on the left and you know the company on the right. So let us say that um, Vine is in HMC and there is a supplier of, let's say, laptops that is in HMC. Then we are wondering who should pay who, when we should pay who. Then because HMC knows the two entities, then the terms can actually, HMC can then offer the bridge, yeah, exactly, yeah. and say, no, no, don't worry, uh, you can see supply, and we shall do some kind of uh, factoring, financing in, uh, you can find a formula of who pays who, when, but HMC gives the, the comfort that you know both of us, you know the two companies, and so there is increased business within the HMC uh, environment as well. Yeah. yeah, that is totally spot on. And we've had, we've, we've not given it as much attention and articulation as you have, but we've seen a lot of that happen just because of, you know, being in the same space. So now you're like, okay, we know the person, this is the person that is going to be able to supply the laptops. You're looking for laptops, we know someone, mm. this is the person. But I like, I like that you've uh, brought the aspect of make it a formal process. Mm. Yeah. And, Could it also yeah. become a KPI? <laughs> yes, it actually can. <laughs> the man to take it on. <laughs> Buster, we have some interesting questions here online for you. Uh, some are quick. Uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll read them for you. Do you have to be a member of Worship Harvest to be a member of HMC? Yes. And um, can a business company that's not owned by a Worship Harvest member join HMC or Harvest Finance Bank. And the other one, and I think it relates to the first one, and the other one, what percentage of interest on savings and loan interest uh, for members? So what do people get as a return on investment? And if they want to access Borrow. loans, what is your average uh, interest rate there? Okay, so for the first question, to join HMC, yes, you have to be a member of Worship Harvest. Uh, our common bond is that all members of HMC are Worship Harvest members, and it's in the regulation, so we maintain it. This is because you have the same culture, you have the same values, and so it's easy to move forward together. Uh, the second question is about the business. Uh, if the business has one of the directors as a member of uh, Worship Harvest Ministries, yes, you can sign up the business with HMC, because at that point we believe that you have uh, had a conversation with the rest of your shareholders and you're in agreement and so you've signed up. And uh, so it's a yes, if one of your members is um, a member of Worship Harvest Ministries. That uh, third question is uh, return on return investment. Return on investment on the savings and as well if they're accessing loans, what are the average interest rates? Okay, so um, return on investment, um, I don't want to preempt, but I'll, I'll just give you a hint. Last year, which was our first year of operation, we gave a return on investment of 20% for savings. And for those that had shares, the return or the dividend was 22%. Now, if you have been in the market and you've been investing, you'll know that almost no organization has given a return like that. 
Do you understand? So even for you as a business, because I, 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 I've run businesses, I know that businesses invest as well, yeah. director, yeah. Where are you investing your money? You have an opportunity to invest your money in a space where your return is going to be really high. Uh, incomes by end of last year were around, um, around 500 million by end of last year. Right now we are trending at, uh, we're close to 1 billion, which means we've not come to the end of the year, but we're already really more than double, yeah? We, we are close to you know, doubling that, that income. We anticipate that we'll close at about 1.2 billion. Do you understand? So our return on investment this year is definitely going to be double digits, and it will probably not be the lower double digits. Do you understand? So it will be a good return, but I, I can't say it in advance, uh, but I can tell you that you'll smile. <laughs> We'll be happy we did you'll this. You'll smile. You'll thank us. You'll thank us at the end of it all. Yes. Just if you want, and if you wanted to borrow, if you want to borrow, if you wanted to borrow, uh, the rate currently is 18 percent per annum. Again, if you look at the market, 18 percent is very good. If you go to a money lender, 18 percent is per month. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And we have people going to money lenders. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. And then they get hit so badly, and you're thinking. Why did you put yourself under this? The banks are trending some 19, uh, 26. If you have a loan with a bank, you'll realize that they've probably given you a call with a change in the central bank rates. There's a bit of unpredictability. Some of the rates have changed. And so some people at 23, you know, per annum. And so it depends on what bank uh, you're with. But HMC is 18% per annum. And we've maintained that last year into this year. This is as competitive as it gets. Yeah. And also to remind you, in the chat online is the link to join and become a member of HMC. Pro. So please take advantage of that and join today. Director, did you want to say something before I ask another question? No, you ask. Um, we have Andrew Kalunji asking, do you allow group savings? I mean, not individual or company, but let's say a group of three. Is that permitted? Yes. Uh, we actually do have a number of our members that have just um, come together and agreed to save together. And uh, what that looks like is um, if, for example, the three of us are saving, we encourage that you agree on um, certain basics. How do you withdraw that money? Is it two to sign, three to sign, or you're comfortable with one signing? Uh -huh. So get the basics right just amongst yourselves because you realize that finances is one of the things that causes strife and strain between relationships. So get the basics right. Um, beyond the two to three people, we're also doing something with uh, the smaller groups, much smaller groups in the communities. Because remember, we are called to cause transformation in the communities where we are. So one of the challenges that we uh, faced when we were signing up members is that there were people that could not afford the minimum balance of uh, 10,000, they're in an MC, they belong to a location um, somewhere, you know, far, so their money is really small. Mm -hmm. So we have an ambassador called Castro and a team of people that are working with them to create, they're called VISLA, Village Savings and Loan Associations. So it's a group of about 30 people that come together and they keep saving together. And then what they do even as they, you know, develop the discipline is they appoint a chairperson, a treasurer, a secretary, and then they come to HMC and then register the uh, Visla with HMC. And so they are saving under the channel of the Visla. We can't deal with the entire 30 people to monitor their savings, but under this umbrella, they are now tapping into the benefits of HMC. We are seeing this going into MCs because even the MCs within Kampala mm -hmm. are reaching out through frontiers and many of them want to have their people benefit from HMC. So we are just pushing this information out and supporting them so that they can come on board as well. So yes, we are doing it. That's fantastic because I like the group accountability. Sometimes you need somebody to motivate you and hold you accountable. Yeah. So that's a very good thing and really going to the Visla yeah. right down to where it is required. Director. Yeah. Do you encourage couples 
to save. <laughs> we have so many couples, director, yes. Any good we... story? <laughs> a about a couple about, saving. Yes. About a couple, yes. it better be you and uh, uh, My story, uh -huh. we are saving together, hey, my husband and I. Okay. <laughs> You know and we have grown significantly. Yes. I, actually, maybe I should actually get into that. Yeah. Yes, we do. We, we do. <laughs> I thought it was a weird question, but now it doesn't make sense. <laughs> so we, we do, of course, make investments as couples. And because sometimes you get to a point and you realize, oh my God, you're getting stretched, you're serving here, serving here, doing this, you're not doing that. And then someone is falling on their, you know, falling back on the remitting of that their part. saving. So you say, you know what? We need to hold each other accountable. Every month, me, I'll take on uh, these first three quarters. Save, 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 yes, save, save. Yes. So that I'm monitoring and checking our deposit. Because it's very easy to assume that he has sent the money. <laughs> then you're like, what? You didn't send last month? I thought you sent it. So he said, no, me, I'm going to take on monitoring our savings for HMC so that we don't fall back. Yeah. And you this do has the been amazing. He does the you bring the money. <laughs> me, I'll make sure it's on the account. <laughs> Shared, shared tasks. Yeah. 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 And so you see, I the do evaluation and monitoring. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the benefit of that is when some of the opportunities come up, mm. the conversation is different as a couple. Now mm. there is opportunity to buy land. Mm. Uh, we want to get into this land thing. What ideally you would be looking for the three million to deposit, mm. but what we did for them uh, for the land options that we had is look into our savings and say, oh, this is how much we have. Mm. Can we pick part of these savings mm. and contribute to the land? Yeah, the conversation is easier. Yeah, you know that when you're married yeah. and you're having a financial conversation, mm. one has the dream, mm. the other one feels like you're asking me to bring the money, I don't have the money. Mm. The conversation gets a bit yeah. not very nice. Yes. So, so, so this is a space that makes the conversation a lot easier mm. and lighter. Yes. Thank you so much for that. It's, it's much better. And one of you will be a spender, the other one will be a saver. But it's much better to save as a couple. Even the fights actually go down. You use less of the five-fold <laughs> ministry. <laughs> you stop ministering to each other. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Vasta. Everybody, please put your hands together for our CEO, Harvest Multipurpose Cooperative. Thank you, Director. And you look like I should ask you one of my favorite questions. What Thanksgiving looks like in marriage? Or oh, a marriage hack? Uh, okay. You know I couldn't let this end without that from you. Okay. The, something I, uh, that pops to my mind is this. When you get married, sometimes you can get married and you wonder whether you should have gotten married. And people wonder, maybe did I make a mistake? Did I not make a mistake? But one of the biggest compliments you can give someone is that I would still choose you. Mm, nice. I mean, That's really nice. all this has passed, um, all this has come up, but you know, I would still choose you. Oh, don't worry. That's the epitome of proactive yeah. Thanksgiving. That's yeah. really Don't nice. worry. Rain, come sunshine, come r rain and water and rocks, I'll still choose you. Nice. Yeah. I think that's a very good note on which to end. But before we end this segment, we want to remind you, we have Be Your Own Boss, the perfect way to endure traffic on your way home. On our Harvest Radio, it is available on all our um, social media platforms, 7 to 8 p.m. We have Chairman Julius, we have Sharon, uh, um, Sharon Mwebaze, and we also have Pastor Chris Kawesa speaking to us about being your own boss, running your own business. So please tune in. Now, you've been with us this morning, you've listened to these stories about Thanksgiving, about giving thanks to God, giving thanks to our employees, our stakeholders, what it's like in marriage, and you're wondering how you get started with your own thanksgiving and relationship with God. It's very easy, really. And I'm going to lead you into a prayer where you will, at the end of it, have and begin a relationship with Jesus. 
So if you could say this prayer, this prayer after me. Dear Lord, Dear Lord, thank you for this day thank and for the for opportunity day. of the message we've heard today. And for the opportunity of the message we've heard this day. Please forgive me of all my sins and unrighteousness. Please forgive, Please forgive me of all my, my sins, sins and unrighteousness. And with your grace, and with your grace I confess with my mouth, I confess with and my I believe mouth, in my heart, and I believe in that my you heart. are my Lord and Savior. That you are my Lord and Savior. Take my life, Take my life and, do something significant with it. and do something significant with it. All this I prayed, prayed, believing and trusting, believing and trusting in your son's name, Jesus Christ. Son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And with that simple prayer, you are welcome, you are a child of God, you are in a relationship with Jesus Christ. And on the screen is a number, plus 256-775-642-442 which you can call or send a WhatsApp message where somebody on the other end will help you make sense of this decision, help you get plugged into an MC, help you get plugged into a family where you can start this walk, this new relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So once again, I thank all our viewers in the house here in Nalia, at all our 69 locations, all our viewers online, all our viewers across the globe. Thank you so much for rising early and being with us. And now I'm inviting you all to stay online, to get to your locations. We have 70 locations and various hosting centers. Main garage starts in some locations at 9 a.m., in others at 10 a.m. Please, please, especially if you have the option of being in the room and fellowshipping with your brethren, brothers and sisters, please go to your locations. If you can't, you're out of the country, you're indisposed for one reason or the other, please tune in online. We'll be happy to fellowship with you and pray with you. Thank you very much and see you next week. Have a blessed week.